Hello there. Welcome. All right. This is a special episode. We're going to be talking about our 2022 Star Wars collection. Jingle last... bells, jingle bells, don't copy, right? Us. <laughs> it's the holidays. All right. It is the holidays. So remember last year, Keith, we did our Star Wars book collection, right? I do. And we had so many books. Right. Exactly. So we thought we would expand it this year, right? And just talk about not just books, but comics and toys and games, um, audio books, you know, whatever we have in our collection. And boy, we got one. Yeah, we we have a lot. So we're not going to show you everything in this episode. So we'll spread it out, you know, over you know, the world the, over a few years, <laughs> the next things, few years. OK, Atlantic City. Mm hmm. Got some books. All right. We went to we went to the realm known as Amazon. OK. They Maybe. have they have lots of stuff there. Okay. All right. So let's, what do you want to start off by showing us? How about we start off with my toy collection? Yes. Okay. So here I have Wrecker. Ooh, right. We're getting ready for the Bad Batch. A Black Series Wrecker figure. Yeah. It's for the first season, though. So Mm -hmm. it's not entirely accurate, but he is posable. I admit, I I have misplaced the box and, you know, he's, he's hanging around. We're hoping to get more of the Bad Batch. Hopefully, yeah, maybe. We want to complete. We want to complete the series. Yeah. So please do that to our Patreon page so we can make that happen. <laughs> well, I wasn't, okay. Shameless plug. People. I wasn't going that way, but okay. All right. What else? Yeah. What else? Well, I'm gonna buy some. Okay. Yes. What else them. do you have, Keith? So okay. We also have some Funko Pops. Mm-hmm. Firstly, mm-hmm. I have Luke Skywalker. Ooh. Okay. All right. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. That's uh, Luke from the sequel trilogy. Yes, right? this is um, Krusty Hermit Luke. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, and then we also have when did the Mandalorian. Yes, we have Mando, mm-hmm. and this is an exclusive limited edition glow in the dark Mando. Mm-hmm. We also those. Mm-hmm. Very good. All right, what else we have? We have Ahsoka. Yes, Ahsoka, yes. This yeah. was my first Funko Pop, I believe. Exactly, yeah. And this one is my favorite character, Ahsoka. Absolutely. Okay. And All finally, right. we have D.O., the cute little droid for the Rise of Skywalker. I remember that droid. Okay. All right. For, for, for friend. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 not now. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, thank you. No, right. no, no, thank you. Very good. Okay. And... Um, before we finish, mm-hmm. I have an advent. I just dropped C three PO. That's okay. Let's I see. have an advent calendar. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So and you... I got a bunch of droids mm-hmm. for the last couple of days. Mm-hmm. So today, as of recording, is the twenty fourth. Mm-hmm. I've finished the advent calendar. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, I see him. Wait, He's okay, like right there. I can't. I can't. Did grab you get him? him. Okay. No. Can you explain what the advent calendar <clears throat> is? What is it for? So the advent calendar is basically. Every day up until the 24th, which is the day before Christmas or Christmas Eve, you'll get a different prize to do. And basically, for Legos, you get a different Lego set to build. And they'll give you <coughs> tiny instructions in the box on the flap. And then you keep building them till you get to the 24th. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, very good. That's very cool. All right. And so... Uh, We've managed to recover C-3PO. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. And he's wearing a Christmas sweater. Yeah, him and R2 have matching sweaters. Oh, yeah, let's hold them up again. Okay, so here, let's hold them next to each other. That's pretty cool. (laughs) Very nice. I like like the sweater, the red and the blue. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Now let's get to books. All right, so we have books here. So um, there is this author named Christian Bavel. I hope I pronounced his name correctly. he wrote a series of Be More books. Now, this this is four of them. Now, like I said, there's there's more than four. There's but we have more. exactly right. So I thought they were they were very cool, and you read them. Um, they're just books about life lessons. Mm-hmm. On and each character has their own life lessons. Exactly, the depending on you know the and character. The main character of the book, they'll get their own life lessons. Right. So I thought it'd be cool if we just read one passage from the book, right? You just read the left and the right. Yeah. And uh, it's so just giving an idea of what these books are about. So there's one called Be More Lando. So listen to this. Yeah. This is from the Be More Lando book. There's no liars in this game, just players. Lando Calrissian. Right. Embrace euphemisms. 
Remember, the truths we cling to depend greatly on our own point of view. Some might call it cheating at cards, deception, but you can call it creativity. A little rule bending shows you can think for yourself. You may have allowed your friend to be frozen in carbonite, but play up how he's now in a state of perfect hibernation. <laughs> a careful choice of words can turn flaws into strengths, and that, my friend, is how you can fit your talents to any proposal. Here you go. That's right. Lando the Negotiator. That's pretty cool. Yes. Lando the Negotiator who froze his best friend in carbonite. Exactly. Exactly. Well, Good job, Lando. But he, he spun it around, right? At least, you know. And then he freed the man. So he did. He did. All's, for, all's fair and love and war. There you go. All right. So this is or be more. All right. So this is be more Yoda. Right. This is about Yoda and his wisdom. Yeah. All right. So there's a, a segment here. This is a quote from The Empire Strikes Back, where Yoda's training Luke, and he says, "Oh, it's with you. It cannot be done. Hear you nothing that I say." Can and I then, try it because they're gonna give you a version. Okay, you okay? I'm reading it. this part, and then give me this part. Okay. Mm, always with you. It cannot be done. Hear you nothing that I say. There you go. <laughs> All right. And then, believe in your abilities. A healthy dose of skepticism is good, but doubting yourself is self-defeating. You might not have all the answers, but you might not need them right now. Believe that with calm, applied effort, a solution will present itself. Whether you are choosing which university to apply to, what job you should accept, or proving to your mentor and yourself that you are truly Jedi material. Quitting and frustration is never the answer. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. All right, that's Be More Yoda. All right, let's check out Be More Leia. Leia, I'm sure we're gonna learn some things about leadership. Do you want to do this one? Or? Shit, I like this. Actually, I'll read Vader. I want to be Vader. Okay, you want to be Vader. Okay, all right. So this is Leia. So this is from a quote from A New Hope, where uh, Han, Luke, and Leia are trying to escape the Death Star, and she and blows a hole into the garbage chute, and she says, well, somebody has to save our skins. Into the garbage chute, fly boy. Don't leave out Chewie. And Chewie, yes, Chewbacca. They left as well. him out when he got the medal too, probably because it wouldn't fit around this way. I, you know, no offense to Chewie, I didn't mean to leave him out. So, so this is called <laughs> Chewie's been dehydrated lately. <laughs> <laughs> this is suggest solutions. Put your brain to use, not just your blaster. A tough problem might be in front of you. How do you amplify your message, get that hashtag trending, or find your way out of an imperial prison block? Thinking outside the box, then communicating your problem-solving idea to your own team quickly, clearly, and forcefully will motivate them and get results. Keep improvising, though, in case your brilliant idea sends you out in a dungeon and into a Dianoga den. <laughs> All right. So that's Be More Leia. Okay. And then finally, we have Be More Vader. Vader. Can't imagine Lord why Vader. anybody would want to be more like Vader, but let's uh, see. Maybe there's something that we can learn. Speak for yourself. Oh, okay. All right. Well, there you go. Let's let's have it. <laughs> yes. The ability to destroy a planet is insignificant next to the power of the force. And that was a quote from A New Hope. Yep, yes. I remember that. Go ahead. Master the power of self-confidence. Always be confident in your abilities. Your colleagues may possess better people skills, be proficient in the latest business software, or have even developed a moon-sized space station packed with planet-destroying weaponry. But the Force is strong with you, and you should never be afraid to demonstrate it. Force choke them! <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That's not the book. Okay. Underscore your status and presence with some subtle Sith mind games. Stand during a meeting while the others sit. It's the ultimate power play. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> that's true. Yes. That's true. He. Well, if I stand in class, that, I'm not sure how that's going to go. That is intimidating. And you know, when he stood there, and you know, he stood while the imperial officer sat. Yeah, very and I'm powerful. Like, I, I don't. I don't want to be. In that Vader place. knew exactly what he was doing. All right, continuing with, with books. So, Star Wars: A High Republic, uh, Phase Two just started, maybe a couple of months ago. Uh, a so, couple. It's been like two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that's the definition. Of that. Okay. <laughs> Happy holidays. I, I, oh, I cracked myself up with my own ignorance. Sometimes. All right, that's it's okay. Keep it. All right, so <laughs> to, to be honest with you, we we have fallen behind on our High Republic reading, mm -hmm. but We're these going are two to get books. Cracking on the books. Yes, yeah, so these are two books that are up deck, uh, on deck. So we what? have on deck. <laughs> 
So, firstly, we have Quest for the Hidden City by George Mann. Yes. And okay. you want me to read the back of the book? Um, no, you don't need to do that. Okay. That's a little bit long. Um, but yeah, but just to let you know, here's the other one. This is called Path of Deceit by Tessa Grattan and uh, Justina Ireland. Ireland. Right. So we have not read these books yet, but we are definitely putting it on our uh, list of things to do for next possibly year. Possibly a book review. Right. Later. And then possibly a book review. A, re a book review. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. All right. a possibly a book review. All right. Here we go. All right. Now. I like my reference books, okay? Yes. I, I love the- And our bookshelves can tell you that. Yes, and the, these heavy-duty coffee table books, I love these. So this one- Yes, and our bookshelves can also tell you that, too. I was very impressed with this book. This is called Star Wars Year by Year, A Visual History, all right? Now, what this is, this is a timeline. Basically starts from the beginning of Star Wars, even before New Hope. Like the production and the planning that went into it, the inspiration, all the way to 2021, or close, which is close to present year. Right, exactly. And it starts off at the beginning, like you said, um, the films that influenced George Lucas. All right. So you'll see, uh, this is the first couple of pages. You'll see uh, 2001. Um, Space Odyssey. Yes, 2001 Space Odyssey is one of them. There is also a picture of Flash Gordon. You know, Flash Gordon was something that George Lucas wanted to uh, create prior to Star Wars, and he wasn't able, I believe, to get the rights to Flash Gordon, so he created Star Wars instead. And then there's a section here um, regarding the birth Who of George. Who is Flash Gordon? Oh, that's a long story. And here's a section of George Lucas, you know, when he was born, where he was born, Modesto, California. And then this is uh, one of my favorite parts of the book, because Return of the Jedi we're going to be talking about Return of the Jedi a lot next yes. year, right? And do you remember why? Because it'll be the 40th anniversary. <laughs> it'll be the 40th anniversary. So something cool that I saw, right? So 1983, that was the year Return of the Jedi was released. And, you know, I've told the story many times of how I went to Manhattan, New York City with my buddies, and we went to see yes. it at the Los Asta Plaza. Well, guess what? There is a picture of the actual movie theater right here. Hey, yo, let me, let me yeah. see. So it's called Lowe's Asta Plaza. This is where, yeah. So this is where I saw Return of the Jedi. Pull my eye out with the corner of that book, please. Back, back in 1983. I like my vision. Yes. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I, I, I've seen this photo uh, floating around on the internet, but yes, that's exactly it. Lowe's Asta Plaza. Um, I was not in this picture, unfortunately. Uh, well, that would have been nice. Yeah, well, it would have been nice. Yeah, but that was pretty cool. So maybe next, maybe nostalgia. next time they make one of these, we'll be in them. Why not? Why not? All right, Mandalorian season three is coming up, right? March first. Mm -hmm. So, what better book to have? Books to have is the art of the Mandalorian, or rather, two. Yes, season one. Here is season one. Oh, let me, let me just here look at them off. Chum, Carlo. Look at them off, right? You have something I want. Ah! Oh, so that was, <laughs> and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> that was mom. And then what's nice about this book is broken out by chapters, by right? the actual episodes of each Yo, book. Chapter one through eight. Yeah, exactly. Um, Only it's, episode title I remember was the sanctuary. Yeah, but it. But Don't it's, ask me why. But it's cool. I mean, just look at this artwork. It's just incredible. Um, here, let me show you here. You know. Yes. Yeah, it's just wonderful. And, it and it's nice because at the end of every episode, you would see some of this artwork. So mm -hmm. it made sense to just put this all in a book, right? Yeah, I love so that. So that's how they like show the concept art exactly. at the ending. Exactly. Because you right. needed something to show because, like, I love hyperspace, mm -hmm. but it gets old when you've seen every single Star Wars movie 19 times. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I haven't seen it 19 times. But. When you've seen every single Star Wars movie, hyperspace gets a little stale. So it was nice to see some of the concept art, especially because I love the concept art to the Mandalorian because it's just, it's so realistic. Mm -hmm. And I like seeing it. Yeah, I mean, it, that was it, a long winded way of saying I like the concept art. Yeah, and the art, I mean, it's, it's such an, it's an inspiration for the actual filmmaker to take a look at what's in the photo and try to put that. On film, you know right. what I mean? Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So here is season two book, right? The art of season two, The Mandalorian. Check out the back of this book. How about that? 
I'm so All right, cool. we got Sokotano. She's gonna. We're gonna hear a lot about Sokotano next year. Okay, and then once again, um, it's broken up by chapters. Chapter one is the Marshall. Remember the the uh, the crate dragon episode. Oh uh, yes, and Cobb um, Bam. Yes, up until the rescue. I think that was in the the name of the last episode. Um, this is actually a fantastic photo. This was in the last episode. This is so we got we got Costco. Oh, we got. Costco. Yes, Costco Reeves. Oh. And we have Bo Katan. We got Fennec Shan. Yeah. yeah, right. So this is pretty and Cara Dune. Cara Dune, right. Pretty cool. That's a very nice photo. That was the last episode. That was pretty cool. All right. I think. And then the last coffee table book. We were talking about the High ah, Republic. The broken coffee table, remember? <laughs> Yes, because these, <laughs> these books, are, books heavy. are so heavy. That coffee table went, all right, see ya. Yeah, these books are heavy. I was so excited when they came out with the Art of Star Wars. This is by Chris. By the way, I forgot to mention that the two Mandalorian books are by Phil Sostak. All right. Okay. This book is uh, by Kristen Baver, written by Kristen Baver. This is Star Wars, the Art of Star Wars. The Hive of Pub. I'm sorry. Show the back of the book. Okay. The Art of Star Wars. The High Republic, all right? And then here's the back. If you are a fan of the High Republic, you know who this is. The this is, Eye. This is the Eye. This is the Nile, right? Yeah, okay. It, what's his name? Marcian Rowe. Marcian Rowe. Exactly. Very good. Very good. So and if what's Republic. nice is, again, it's Bariaga. It's, it's all concept art. Uh, it talks about um, different versions of the characters, you know, the first drawing of what the character looked like to the final drawings you got pictures of the the jedi you have pictures of oh hit yourself yeah <laughs> it's, I tell you, it's a big book you remember like concept art really changes a lot from beginning to end because yeah, yeah. luke skywalker used to be deep okay. star killer it looked completely different from who That's he right. is today yeah he had the last name star killer yeah pretty and good and they decided to keep it in canon and mm -hmm. name the, the planets like death star three Star Killer Base. Exactly. All right. Yes. Yeah, so this is the Art of Star Wars: A High Republic by Kristen Baby. All right. I feel like Star Killer Base was Death Star Three, except a lot less scary and a lot easier to destroy. That's true. It, it felt See, a lot like the another first and Death second Star. Death Stars. Mm -hmm. One took a lot more planning, and two took a lot more hard work to get rid of. <laughs> Star Killer Base be like, all right, let's hack. It We're was, in. Boom. It was pretty easy. All right. So I got two more things. This. The final Jeez. two, okay. Um, as you, if you watch our podcast, you know that I am a big fan of the original trilogy and right? the radio dramas. Okay, well, then I'm going to introduce the radio <laughs> drama, but yeah, thank you very much. So I'm a spoiler. When, yes. I'm a wild card. That's fine. So in our reverse, I recall, you know, I was old enough to remember that NPR, our local public radio station, WHL came out to us. Well, this was in New York, so it was the NYC. To us, it's WHL. Yes. There was a Star Wars radio drama that came on uh, the radio. <laughs> it was, it was wonderful. You know, it came so, on the television, right? So they decided to create a radio drama. So here is the radio drama. This is a complete radio drama of Star Wars. Sorry, new... Mark Hamill is a Skywalker. Anthony Dales is C three PO. Right, which is really cool. So yeah. So what they did was they extended the Star Wars A New Hope story. I mean, the, the film was only what a little over two hours. This is about six hours. Of yeah, the um, reason why is because they had to expand on each character's theories sure and their ideology and whatnot that's why it was so long right well they had to give the listeners something different than that and uh, adding more details differing yeah than what they were going to see in the movie right so they needed to add you know they needed something to get people to listen to it so like oh wow new material so right. that's what they did so this came out in 1980 <laughs> well the the um it was broadcast in 1981 and then they came out on uh uh, CDs uh, a few years later. So I have this. And like you said, starring Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker, and Anthony Daniels, C3PO. And then I also have the radio drama for The Empire Strikes Back. All right. So Mark Hamill comes back, Anthony Daniels, and Billy D. Williams. Mm -hmm. All right. This is pretty cool. So it's, um, it's, this is just nostalgia for me. So here. I, I, yeah, I, I love these, these, uh, radio dramas. Um, 
the music and the sound effects. And then um, actually I left out another one. So the audio book for Dr. Afra, um, just, Doc you know, a. that's right. I've been saying, or well, we've been saying for a while now, this should be a Dr. Afra series, you know, one day maybe that will happen. Hashtag Afra Disney Plus. But I read her audio book and it was fantastic. You read the audio book? I read the audio book. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I, I listened to the audio book. And Did you break the fourth wall too? <laughs> I listened to the audiobook and it was wonderful. It was fantastic. So it's based on uh, the Marvel Comics Darth Vader series created by Karen Gillan. He was the writer. This was this came out in 2015. So this is this took place. The kind series of a took place. Yeah, the series took place between episode four and five. So this spit is spit off. That's what it is. Spit off. So this is at the time when Vader found out who that rebel pilot was and that, that was destroyed. Yeah, that destroyed the Death Star. And he hires Dr. Afra right to find Luke Skywalker. So I don't know why you'd hire an archaeologist to go find a rebel pilot who blew up your strongest death station. Mm -hmm. Well, but anything goes in the Empire, right? But you can force choke your own people and not be sent to human resources. (laughs) I guess. Okay. All right. (laughs) HR won't follow you. If you are human resources, yes, you're right. They won't send you to, to HR. <laughs> you won't need to have a t- you don't you won't need to have a talk and be like, let's talk about your feelings, Vader. Mm-hmm. Let's not. <laughs> that reminds me of Krennic going to Vader. Remember in, in Rogue One, and he wanted Vader to acknowledge he did such a great job. He's you know, like, that's like be careful not to choke on your yeah. aspirations. Right. So, so HR. So you know, like you know, hey, what, what do you think? <laughs> you, you know, know HR is. <laughs> there's another word for HR: the Empire, not existent. <laughs> there, there you go. That's it. All right. So just to finish up, Doctor Afra is. A new character in this series, and you know, I love that she has a robot or a, a protocol droid. Two of them called yes. Just two different droids. Yes, uh, but the protocol droid is called Triple Zero. You know, he's an, an assassin. Man, what an awesome droid! Um, and you know, so again, so she's hired by Darth Vader to look for Luke, and she does the, you know, you know the the not his name BT. Yes, the the not so smart thing um, to the double truth. right to double cross. Darth Vader, right? And gets thrown at the airlock yeah, and well, then saved. Yeah, well, good. You just told the ending. <laughs> yeah. Right. All bad. right. Well, anyway, so if you have not read it, I highly recommend it. Um, you know, Dr. Afra is a great character. One day we hope to see her on the, the big screen or the mm-hmm. small screen. All right. So that is it. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think that's it. All right. Very good. So that is our star wars collection all right like i said you know we don't want to you know bombard you with too much of what we have it's just a little it's christmas eve yes it <laughs> and of course you can watch it at any time you want they were recording this on christmas yes, eve today yes. is the 24th okay <laughs> all right unless they watch it next week and then it's not the 24th thank you so much for joining us everyone so keith where can people find us Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, Radio Public, Amazon Music, Audible, or wherever you get your podcasts. Our socials, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, at Files of Galaxy. Our merch store, Files of Galaxy. Yes. Popping collars. You can get some nice merch for your loved ones. We also sell mugs at our store as well. There you go. There so if go. you're looking for a nice sweater to warm up for the for the holidays, mm-hmm. or if you want a nice mug to have your coffee at the, at like 7 a.m. in the morning, mm-hmm. who's to judge you? Why don't you use a father and gal? Hey, mug? nobody needs to know what's in your mug. You know, it's just it's, it's personal. All right. Nobody nobody <laughs> cares if you put coffee or tea or coffee tea or decaf. Please don't put decaf. Okay. All right. So it's going to be a long winter for, you know, depending on where you are. Or hot chocolate. (laughs) Yes. So mugs will. marshmallows. Okay. All right. Anything else? Socials? You got that? Got that out the way? Website, Mm -hmm. www.lifesightgalaxy.com. Please go to our Patreon page so I can get that full set (laughs) of that of Black Series action figures. And also so we can keep making awesome content like this. And check out our Spreaker page as well. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. This was fun. Uh, Thank you for joining us. So once again, until next time, take care and and we will see see you again. again.